In today's video, I'm taking a look at the Tala Durith Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher. Welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel, I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this is the... Tala Durith, Tala Durith, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I've, I've just been saying Tala Durith, um, Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, very cool character, really happy to have this one, um, I'm hoping we get another version of Tala, just in her, her refugee, uh, clothing that we see her in later on in the series when she's helping, uh, the, the path escape, um, so I'm, I'm hoping we get another version of her, but this one is very cool. She's in her Imperial disguise uh, from like when we first see her on uh, the, the first planet. I can't remember what it's called right now. Uh, and then, of course, on the um, on the uh, Fortress Inquisitorius as well. She uh, is wearing her Imperial disguise there as well. So very cool looking Funko Pop. Um, but let's take a quick look at the packaging before we unbox this Funko Pop. As far as the packaging goes, again, just like the rest of the uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series of Funko Pops, it does have that same color scheme. The uh, the black with the gray pinstriping are all around the box. You'll see that color scheme are all going on as well as the uh, the kind of goldy sand color behind the, uh, the font, the text on the box, as well as your usual Funko Pop branding and Star Wars branding around the package as well. And uh, Tala Dorith is uh, number 541 in the series here. Um, very cool Funko Pop, as I was saying. And then on the back of the box, of course, you got the uh, the rest of the Funko Pops in the wave. So I've already reviewed the uh, the previous three there, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Darth Vader, and the, the Colin Roken. Um, I just did the other day. Um, and then I do have the, uh, the third sister, Reva, or Reva, sorry. Um, to review as well, so that will be coming in a few days here, um, but let's open up Tala and take a closer look at her there is Tala out of the packaging and I gotta say I think she looks very very cool she's got a very decent pose like yeah she's just standing there but she's got her uh, her hands behind her back in a very uh, very dignified Imperial pose as she would if she was a true Imperial officer so very awesome pose I think like even though it is just her standing there I think it's a very decent pose um, details on this Funko Pop, they did put a, quite a bit of little, or quite a bit of detail into the, like, the small things, so she's got, like, uh, you can, they did a pretty decent job of the, uh, the badges on her outfit there, if that focuses in. The, uh, the red and the blue badges on her outfit there as well as the uh the, the little um silver pieces on her outfit both on her chest there and on like the belt buckle as well um you got the blaster in the blaster holster on her right side there if that focuses up um yeah a blaster in the holster there looks very good i think um but other than that not not too much going on with the outfit you know she's got the little medallion thing on her on her hat there um the hair is pretty pretty plain at the back you know as as i would assume i think her hair is like done up underneath the the hat so pretty uh pretty plain like not not much going on as far as like paint goes like you got the gloss black for the boots and then uh actually the gloves are a gloss black as well so the boots and the gloves are our gloss black you get the matte black for the holster and the belt uh, and then you got the matte gray for her outfit so pretty pretty simple 
paint application on this Funko Pop. Not complaining though, like Imperial officers and, and stuff like that are are going to be pretty plain. And as I mentioned, the stance, like, yeah, it's not a like a, a an action pose or anything like that. But again, like, I think a decent pose because that's exactly how uh, an Imperial officer would stand when when uh, talking to their their superiors or even uh, to their uh, people there in, in charge of in command of as well so that I feel like that's how they would stand as well so that the stance represents the character as I mentioned in in a couple of uh, my other reviews as well um, you know it's, it's much still the stance is much better than the uh, the very first Star Wars Funko Pops where they were in that quote-unquote hero pose as well with the the hands just down the side and the the legs in the same stance every time so pretty decent job here um again like funko does pay attention to the little details like even the the pants like they got like little little wrinkles in the pants there with in the the, the baggier parts of the pants i suppose you know you got wrinkles in the clothing it, it just adds to the, the, the little detail like it the little details just add to how how, how uh how well these pops are done like very very nicely done um awesome character very good representation as a pop of tala dorith um i think i think she translated very well into a uh, pop form as i mentioned i would like to see another version of tala in what i call her uh her refugee clothes that we see in uh in later episodes but for now let me know what do you guys think of the tala dorith Star Wars Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.